Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and one of the, this coffee's good by the way, one of the coolest things that that uh, having this channel, uh, one of the cooler things about doing this is that, and tying it in with Twitter, is that there are so many like brilliant people on Twitter, it makes my life easy because they, uh, I can uh, put their things on the channel give them credit and, and it makes me look smarter than I actually am. <laughs> and here's one of those examples. Cryptopolis uh, underscore X. This guy's really smart. And I saw, I heard Brad, I heard Brad Combs bring this up. And so I went looking for it. I had not seen it yet, but I wanted to show it to you. I don't think I've seen this yet. Um, it's the, it, it's uh, the, he calls it the XRP dashboard um, has been updated. The long-term accumulation index declined slightly from 1.62 to 1.6. The volatility index increased slightly from 53% to 57%. Well, I was looking at this and I didn't really know exactly what he was doing here. And so I wanted to go to his website. So first I went to his website and this is the first thing that you see. And it, for those of, the, the, of you that want to check it out, now, and this is not just for crypto, he does this for the stock market as well. Um, but his uh, website is strongmarket.com. But here he says, market clarity. Technical analysis hasn't changed much in 100 years. Patterns fail more often. Alpha is getting harder to achieve. We took a different approach, using market data to identify anomalies um, in the financial markets is what one client calls market clarity. We call it data-driven technical analysis, and it doesn't suck. Now, again, I like to give you my disclaimer. This is not my cup of tea. I don't know this stuff. I don't study this stuff. But I am interested in reading and seeing some of the charts and different things and different analysis that some of the people that do know this stuff um, put together. And that's what he's done here. And I want to show you uh, m more of this. this. This was an interesting way of putting it. Uh, or explaining what they do. He says, this what if section here, it says what if. We started with a simple what if question. What if market participants are hurting? In other words, small changes in market buying and selling by participants can trigger a hurting effect, which results in the market trends we see over time. We developed our own ag algorithms and quantitative analysis on fundamental market data to track market buy sell orders and found that herding to be found herding to be an accurate description of the behavior by financial market participants. Well, if you've ever wondered if herding is a part of it, rewind to the uh, market run up in crypto in 2017. I've never seen more herding in my life. And by the way, before I move on to his XRP chart, um, I wanted to let you know that he. Um, and, and by the way, he's not paying me or anything. I'm just showing you this because he took, he's taken the time to put all this together. So we should at least let you know that he is, um, uh, that he has a subscription model on here. And again, this is not just for, um, crypto. It's also for the markets in general, like the Dow S and P 500 and NASDAQ. So here's what he's done on XRP. He's got an XRP market barometer, strong market EOD signals. And I like his, his write-up. Here he's got the XRP price, XRP long-term accumulation index. He says XRP is under heavy accumulation even as the price has declined. We saw a similar pattern in Bitcoin in April of this year prior to its advance. We expect a sharp upward movement in XRP at any time. Bottom line, XRP is looking, bull, looking bullish after moving above the zero line on our long-term accumulation trend index on July the 3rd. So I just think that, I think that this is really cool what he's put together here. But like I said, um, <laughs> I don't study this stuff. I don't have the understanding that this guy does, but that's why we, that's why the smartest CEOs in the world put together the smartest people 
because they don't know everything either. So <laughs> that's how I see myself, by the way, is I, I see myself running a channel and I see myself trying to gather all these smart people and present them to you so that we can present a bunch of smart content. That's what I, that's the way I see my channel. But so, so thanks for Cryptopolis for that. Okay, uh, speaking of smart people, um, this article is something it's hard for me to wrap my mind around from Sergeant Obi-Wan. NSA reportedly developing quantum resistant crypto. Um, and this is an article from Coindesk. Um, it says, until now, the, the NSA has restricted its activities in the crypto space as far as we know. Those are the keywords as far as we know. Remember, David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple, worked for the NSA to track Bitcoin users, but now the agency may be working to develop its own. So what I, what I get out of that is the IRS uh, probably was ringing bells that we need the NSA to create something where we can track all of the crypto users first for tax purposes. And now they're getting on to something else. According to a tweet from Bloomberg, cybersecurity reporter William Turton, the director of the NSA's cybersecurity directorate, Ann Nurberger said on 10th annual Billington Cybersecurity Summit in Washington, D.C., that her agency is, is developing a quantum resistant crypto. Now, um, and let's see what, uh, it should be, let's see, it should be the NSC's new cybersecurity directive was announced in July and is charged with preventing and eradicating threats to national security systems and the defense industrial base. So what I read out of this, but I don't really understand quantum and all that, quantum computing and all that, but the gist of what I read is if we're, if we're going to all go down this crypto road, I think the only thing that could uh, could um, change the game is quantum computing, and I think that they're wanting to head this off at the pass. And so I think that's what this is, this is about: a uh, quant creating crypto that's quantum resist quantum computer resistant. Um, but again, not my field. Let me get I'm getting rid of some of these uh, things here. All right, um, Tony Valentino. I thought this was an interesting little write up. How to understand the major role XRP is playing in this coming new world order. Here's an example. Think of a small town of a thousand adults and five thousand kids. The town is so indebted that it is about to crash and there will be pain and chaos, which, which uh, would result in the mayor losing power and control. So the mayor comes to all the adults and says, we are creating a new system to move away from the broken old one. He tells all the adults the plan and tells them certain a certain rock is what will be used in this new system and all adults should work with the rock company mining the rock. The adults go and work with the mining company. They are allowed to purchase rocks at a cheap value based on their asset holding and debt ratios. Then the mayor tells the adults what the value of this rock will be in the future so all adults should settle their debts. All the adults move their rock holdings around using the known future valuation and settle their debts. Adults are now happy. They know they will enter the new system debt free and wealthy. The only catch is the children's debt won't be settled by the adults. But in the new system, the adults could restructure the debts of the children to ease their burden, but still keep them working. Now read this again and replace the words town with world, adults with major banks, institutions, companies, mayor, powers that be, children, citizens of the world, rocks, XRP. And, and we can add that in, in, to, in the, and we can add that in the end, the mayor, powers that be, takes control of the rock mine, the XRP escrow. And we enter the new system, the power structure remains intact. Everyone at the top is a winner. Consumer will remain slaves to the new system as well. A few slaves holding XRP will be liberated. That's the digital asset investor right there. A few slaves holding XRP will be liberated and that's a small price to pay for the powers that be. As long as the majority remained enslaved, the system continues to work. Every human cannot and will not be liberated. If they are, then there's no system and power structure. There are 2,000 plus shining rocks, cryptos, but how many are working with the system? How many are positioned to work for the specific purpose 
that would create wealth and ensure the transition from the old system to the new? How many, how many has the backing of the IMF, UN, et cetera? It's not difficult. You have to either, uh, you have to be either brain dead or have actual rocks for brains to not understand and see what's going on. Those clinging to Bitcoin and clinging to a dream long killed by XRP. They are chasing a dead end. XRP holders are holding on to the future. I agree with just about everything he said in here, except for this last part. I think that those clinging to Bitcoin in the short to mid run are going to do quite well. But I think ultimately XRP is the one, as I've said all along, and it is the place to be. And since I'm in this for the long term, I'm much heavier weighted in XRP for that reason. But it, what a great, I, I think that he's knocking it out of the park with that little write up. Chinu Patel at Chinu Patel 29 sent me this. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency that really needs to be backed by gold to have any value, says famed investor Mark Mobius. Um, he, he's making a point in here that these cryptos need to be backed by something to be worth something, but he kind of gets, he kind of stumbles when the guy that's interviewing him says, but wait a minute, fiat's not backed by anything. That's what Anthony Pompliano said when he was on CNBC not too long ago. Um, Fiat is backed by absolutely nothing at, uh, as of when Nixon got rid of the gold standard, or at least U.S. fiat, so, and most fiats of the world. So um, why would you have any faith in the U.S. dollar? So basically the way I see it is, here's a U.S. dollar and all these fiats that are backed by nothing, and they're telling you that they're worth something. And all these, you've got all these sheep that see value in it because the government tells them so. While the government continues to print, 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 and then here you've got some of these digital assets like XRP that do all kinds of fascinating things and they're not being printed at will. You tell me, what do you have more faith in? Okay, um, next, uh, this was really awesome. This is another Steward XRP. It's a video that he has put up, Global Payments with Ripple. And th this was very interesting here because uh, the, with the guy that's talking in this video something that really caught my attention. He sh they're showing Amazon, Uber, Seagate, and all these companies that are doing business. And they're, 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 he makes the illustration that Ripple connects them to this internet of money over here, which is the banking system with XRP as the bridge to it. So if they want to connect in, they connect into the banking system, which has XRP as a bridge. You got to go watch that. Okay. And then from Wrath of Kahneman, there's that word again, DTCC. The DTCC has released a white paper with Ripple implementing Accenture about DLT governance. DTCC works with Axoni, IBM, and R3 to replatform their TIW. It's a mature view of an operational model set forth by a large U.S. player. And he's crediting or he's copying this to XRP Darren. Um, now, I'm, I'm going to say this. I've said it before. When the history books are written, the first word is Ripple, the second word is R3, and the third word is DTCC. You just sit back and watch. Um, they will all be in those history books when it comes to all of this. All right, I'm getting rid of a couple of things. Okay, Rhythm Trader. I love these simple things that you can look at and illustrate everything in your mind. 2011 Bitcoin price. This is Bitcoin's price on September 3rd of each of these years. Are you noticing a pattern? And I don't really need to say any more about that. So there you go. Um, Crypto Man, um, this is from Crypto Man, and he sent me this. This is the Rotary Club in Bahamas. The Rotary Bahamas Disaster Relief Fund is now accepting donations of cryptocurrency. To contribute in this way, please visit the following site, um, www.delchain.io slash donation. By the way, I'm not showing you this to uh, tell you to go donate. And the reason I say that is not because you shouldn't donate to the Bahamas. I don't know. This could be some scam site that's set up for all I know. So don't go and donate. Go and do, go to, if you want to donate and you're looking for the Rotary Club in the Bahamas, go to the Rotary Club's own website and then work your way from there or call them. Don't go to this website because I haven't researched this. But I just wanted to illustrate that donations in crypto, if this is real, are being accepted now. This is how the world, one of the ways that the world's changing. 
And then finally from Jaquita McPhee from Crypto Eddie, um, who is our YouTuber and Twitter person over in Japan. Go give her a subscribe and a follow. Mr. Katal, she, she's able to translate things over there that we can't get otherwise. Mr. Katal Fensum, yesterday, we will use the virtual currency XRP for remittance and we are focusing on making money tap into the group's flagship product. We are going to have various relationships with Ripple in the US and this alliance is very significant. More in the coming video. I'm going to finish this video by asking you one simple question. What does the digital asset investor have to do? Draw you a freaking picture? Come on folks. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that SBI is going to focus on making money tap into the group's flagship product and they are going to have various relationships with Ripple in the United States. Thank you for listening.